guys. Just want to make a video um, sharing about an experience that I had last weekend in Indonesia. Thought this is a nice place to do it because the subject is about the physical church building. Now, I just want to do a, a short disclaimer before we start. Um, I have nothing. I'm not against the church. I'm not attacking the church. I know that God can use the church. Of course he can. But we need to be aware and very diligent to produce the best fruit possible. And we shouldn't get comfortable doing church the way it's been for hundreds of years just because that's how people do it. We shouldn't just get comfortable. We should be striving to be as biblical as possible and to be led by the Holy Spirit. So once again I'm not attacking any church, please don't get offended if you're part of a church. I, I know I love community, community is good, we need community, but this experience that I had last weekend just spoke very clearly about what can happen with physical church buildings, when physical church buildings um, become an idol. So, it's a pretty cool story about this place. Um, I was with a group of about six of us and we got invited to speak to a community, to speak to a church in a village somewhere. So, we accepted and we started to journey towards this church. Um, but it was a whole lot different to what we expected, what we anticipated at first. So we, we stopped at the first checkpoint, we got out of the car, we, we got all our stuff out. Um, bearing in mind we had everything with us, so for, I work on the computer, so I had all of my belongings on my person. And then they told us that we were going to strap the bags onto these motorbikes um, because we, could no, we, we couldn't go any further by car. Then we got to learn about some of the history about this place that we were visiting. Back in 1955, it used to be a Christian, um, it used to be a Christian community and then a Muslim separatist movement spread across the area and basically enforced Islam. Um, and if you didn't convert, you were beheaded. Um, and this community that we were going to visit fled for miles and miles and miles into the mountains. Um, obviously they didn't want to convert and they weren't too fond of being beheaded, so they managed to escape. And this, they told us it was going to be a 40 minute journey by bike. Another thing they warned us was whatever, however dangerous it looks, just hold tightly onto the person in front of you, hold tightly to the driver. Um, that's all we knew and then we went and it turned out to be two hours and a half of this mountain trail um, into the deep, deep jungle. These guys fled for miles and honestly I've been skydiving, I've been on um, death road they call it in Bolivia and all of that was nothing compared to this as far as adrenaline pumped adventures go this was beyond anything I've experienced it was incredible and I'm gonna show you some footage now um, on the way back my friend he had a, uh, a GoPro so he managed to catch some of it and it was perfect weather but on the way there the other thing was it was like massive massive drops just a little muddy path it started to pour it down with rain the bikes were getting stuck in the mud people were falling off bikes i think we might even have some footage of that um anyway it was amazing and it was definitely a trust building exercise between me and god but the main point i want to talk about was the very tangible effect of the church building um, so we had we saw some awesome miracles there. People got healed. People got delivered from demons. People got set free. But there was this like heavy weight of religion, what people would call a religious spirit or just heaviness and a religious attitude that was that built uh, physically and spiritually built a wall between the people and Jesus. And we all felt it when we were sitting in the church. I was nearly falling asleep and I'm one of the people who's supposed to be sharing and stuff like that. Um, and then as soon as we got out of the church, everyone opened up, it was like this light feeling came and everyone was relaxed and they're willing to you know, laugh and interact and talk. But all of the religious uh, traditions, all of the routines that they do in that church, 
built this kind of wall. So the people were very religious, they, they came to church, Monday, the whole village came to church on Sunday morning and Sunday evening. Um, they were very happy to sit in church, well not happy, probably quite bored it seemed like it. Um, but when they went outside of the church there was less of that, there was less evidence of God's presence, you know, like real relationship, real spiritual growth people moving in the supernatural they were when it came to giving Jesus everything and giving up sin there was a wall because they felt like they already had religion religion had become their God they, they were comfortable where they were at and this is a, a unhealthy place to be I think to be comfortable with where you're at because God is infinite I don't think there's ever a time when you're gonna stop growing as a Christian so for me Personally, this is what I felt after this experience. If the church building, if the physical church is becoming a barrier between you and Jesus, is making you disengaged, making you bored with your life with God, or in any way threatening your position with God and your personal relationship with God, I would say, like how it felt, how it seemed to be there, honestly, if it was up to me, I would say, pull down the whole church just tear it down it's better to just share outside everyone a lot of people have houses just meet in the houses start from the ground up seek God together as a community and guaranteed there'll be spiritual growth people will actually have a role in the church because they'll, they'll it, it's on a, on a small enough scale for everyone to be involved rather than just the pastor at the front I really think then you'd see organic growth a lot quicker than with this ancient tradition in place um, that's personally how I feel after that experience it will be better to just talk outside in a relaxed environment where you can really be real with each other not acting all religious and righteous self-righteous anyway yeah that was just something and also we got some footage of the eboos of some of the old eboos like some of the old ladies who were babies when they moved so they weren't the original people who fled, but they were the, the sons and daughters of those people that fled. Which was amazing. These old Hebrews who are still working every day, they love it. That's what they said, that they love working in the rice field. Yeah. Anyway, that was uh, my experience last weekend. It was incredible. I'm glad we didn't know about the journey because maybe there would have been some hesitation if I knew about what was on the other end, what, what we were gonna, what we had, how we had to get there. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. And so many testimonies. But anyway, that's it for now. I love you guys. Um, and yeah, speak soon. Bye.